welcome back we're going into the uh, second map between protoys and nightwolf and uh, the players have switched races here so this time we're gonna see protoys as uh, the human player and nightwolf as the orc so uh, yeah once again time for some speculation you know perhaps there may or may or may not have been some uh, you know balance chatter in between the games and uh, the players have switched uh, the matchup around or maybe you know there's been there's been some matchup mind game shenanigans happening again who knows i'm actually pretty surprised that nightwolf is going for this you know we've seen it time and time again protoys going for uh, you know several different races and uh, being at least somewhat capable with uh, all of them whereas nightwolf like the majority of uh, players wasn't exactly known for being very competitive with any other race but his main which in his case of course is night elf so we see him go for the blade master first uh, burrow oops and uh, the barracks and protoys playing standard thus far as well and uh, you know especially on uh, ts i would think that there isn't really a reason uh, to not play Night Elf if Night Elf is one's main race. So another farm coming here by Protoys. Um, yeah, pretty notable that the base is still open here, so he decides not to wall it off entirely against his orc opponent. Scout has seen right now that there is a second burrow coming, so thus far still the completely uh, standard opening by Nightwolf. Let's check if he's building a shop right now, as he does have the resource, and that's exactly what he's doing. So, Nightwolf doesn't cut any corners here early on, Blade Master is out. So is the first Grunt, so is the AM, as well as two footmen, so uh, everyone is playing their build order properly. And, um, yeah, both of them do start creeping. Proto is putting the Lightning Shield onto his AM here by having the two, the two Militia right next to him while attacking the Renegade Wizard, so he's doing that properly. And Gloves of Haste for the Blade Master and Ring of Protection for the AM, so neither of the players is going to be all too happy about that item drop, especially the AM. Gloves of Haste, well in the early game also, well the third best of the four item drops for the Orc players certainly. Ring of, um, Cloak of Shadows on top of things for the M. Blade Master is going to continue creeping as well. Uh, the uh, Scout has returned right now on the side of uh, Protoss and he's pulling a bunch of militia. He hasn't started his tech yet. So uh, let's see what he's going to end up doing here. He, it, you know, we've just seen his Scout here. He has no concrete information by uh, the looks of it about where this Blade Master is and nevertheless he decides to go for this extremely risky creep camp. Um, at least against Orchidus, and it looks like he's going to be rewarded for it as Nightwolf hasn't scouted, you know, insanely well either, and he is completely on the wrong uh, track here. Yeah, Protoss is gonna get away with this creep camp without being punished in the slightest. Very close to level 3 already, the Blade Master has checked here and sees there's no human there, and uh, so since he has invested the time already to march up here, he might as well start creeping there to not have wasted it entirely. But uh, yeah, Proto is getting a pretty decent early game here thus far. He does have the two um, trolls. He's gonna have level 3 right now, quite a while before the Blade Master, who does pick up the uh, boots here. And the base is being walled off just as the Blade Master is coming in right now. Yeah, realizes that right now, going for the farm that is under construction. Protoss immediately starts power building, but I think that one is not... Well, it is finishing in time, and <laughs> a little bit more importantly, Militia are heading across the map, and the AM with the level 3, and the Mercenaries are all going to be there, and Nightwolf is uh, not all too pleased about that as it appears. He's never ever going to be able to break into this base. And uh, he's going to be forced to Town Portal to try and defend here because otherwise he's just going to start losing Burrows. So yeah, there's the Town Portal, I'm assuming here probably against the... Uh, or even more aggressive, okay. 
going straight for the AM, who does not have Boots of Speed, but he's got the Cloak of Shadows, and there is no means of revealing for the Orc player currently. Speed Scroll being used, one of the grants is pretty low already, the Forest Troll Berserk is falling, now Cloak of Shadows is being used by the AM. First tower is up, being upgraded to an Arcane Tower right now, towers number 2 and 3 are coming, Defend has been researched already as well, and uh, the first grunt has fallen, in the meantime the rest of them is hiding in the bag, but this is looking very promising for Pro Toys, who... Uh, isn't struggling at all thus far in getting his towers up. Does he have a lumber mill? He's speed building it with everything he's got currently. So uh, yeah, certainly not only gonna want to have um, arcane towers. Blade Master is coming in again against Shadow Melt after um, cancelling the uh, heal stuff here. He actually decides not to Shadow Melt yet. Now he does. And the shop has fallen, so the Blade Master is left with his uh, four heal staffs, that's all he's got. But I think he's probably not going to be able to use all of those, because two more grunts have fallen already. And there's only a Blade Master and one grunt left standing. The first tower has finished, Number towers number two and three are upgraded right now. And the one I can tower and the guard tower will have uh, access to the PN line. So things are looking terrible to say the least for uh, Nightwolf. The AM needs to pay attention though. BM is coming in again, Shadow Melt used in time, Reveal is being used from the Goblin Laboratory and he's getting the kill on the AM. So that's at least something. Does have a PN in the meantime at the Laboratory. So the AM has fallen, the towers will come up nevertheless though. Footman pushing forward, killing the last remaining, you know, non-hero combative unit of the Orc player for the time being. SH is soon to spawn, but three towers are up already and a fourth one is coming. The burrows, very passively placed, aren't really of uh, great help currently to uh, deflect this tower push. Proto is a little bit sloppy, could use uh, defense here with the one footman, <laughs> does so just as I say it. And the shadow hunter is finally allowed, let's see what he skills here. Heal wave first. But what is he supposed to do against these towers? He's got his blade master. And he's got the uh, Shadow Hunter, and that's it basically. Wormel is coming, a new shop is coming. Yeah, the Wormel. Well, I mean, he can try and produce uh, demolitions, of course, eventually, but is he going to be able to get those out in time to push back these towers? I mean, he needs to defend his uh, stronghold in the meantime. He needs to repair. He needs to stop Protoss from towering forward all too quickly. And he needs to start producing demolition. First demolition is coming right now, but uh, four towers up already. Number five soon to be finished as well. Blade Master and Shadow Hunter are taking a huge amount of damage. You have to fall back, and soon at least there are going to be new heal staffs. But there's so much damage output already against the uh, peon line, and against any repairing peons. So this is going to be a difficult long-term task and one demolisher is never going to do it here. First masonry upgrade finished already as well on the side of Protoys and he's losing the Blade Master here, Nightwolf is. And that should really be the final nail in the coffin. Um, Nightwolf, well, he's got his first demolisher out right now. The second one is coming as well, but the AM is back as well. And yeah, there's a the GG. Uh, very, very clear victory again for Protoys. Um, I said it early on, he creeps the uh, mercenary camp, which is a pretty big risk, especially, especially given that he retreated with his scout, and for all he knew, the blade master could have been close, but uh, then again, since there was no grunt scouting at all, I guess there is some argument to be made for taking that calculated risk at, um, you know, creeping the mercenary camp, and it ended up uh, being rewarded greatly for him. On top of things, Nightwolf coming just a few seconds too late to perhaps break into the base and, uh, you know, mess up the economy of Protoys before town portaling back. So basically everything went perfectly for uh, the German in uh, this best of three. So this means there are still chances for everyone in the tournament. We're going to have one last best of three, uh, the one between Nightwolf and Ciara. And uh, it's very simple, if Ciara wins a map against Nightwolf, he will go to the finals. If Nightwolf wins 2-0, then um, everyone will have 3 points, everyone will have um, 1 victory and 1 defeat at a map score of four, eh, of 2-2. Two to two. And then we'd have to go into another round of um, basically 
the same tournament over again. So uh, yeah, let's see what's gonna happen in that uh, next best of three. I hope you'll check it out. I hope you enjoyed this and uh, yeah, I'll see you uh, next time.